Hello, I am Mal. Welcome. I'm recording this on February 3rd of 2016, and this means that XCOM 2 is about 24 hours away from unlocking. And I am so excited. And I hope that you are as well. So this is a quick video to let you know that the enlistment form for our first XCOM 2 campaign is now live. You'll find a link to it below in the description of this video. Incidentally, I've also have a link to a counter uh, to ensure that XCOM 2, that you know exactly when that's going to unlock for you. So you can look for those in the description. Uh, a few things to note before you rush off to enlist. Uh, first, let me talk a little bit about the character pool and also some of the, the guidelines. Um, once you fill out uh, the form, you'll be added to the character pool, which is a new feature in XCOM 2. This allows for the game to basically go into that pool and then draw you into a campaign as it progresses and you can appear as different things so you can be a soldier you can be a VIP you can be a scientist or an engineer depending on what you have selected on the form is exactly what will apply to you when you're placed into the character pool so if you only want to show up uh, say as an engineer that that's really what you want to be in the campaign that's great but just make sure your selections are that way then that they reflect that uh, creating characters now is is far cooler and more detailed I mean it's uh, I'm just so excited about it. Um, having said that, you can also spend a whole lot of time creating your characters, and I'm sure a lot of us will. But to make sure that I get your soldier right, um, right out of the gate, I've enlisted some help. So community member and XCOM officer, uh, Angel of Iron, which for those of you that are familiar with the XCOM Long War series on my channel would know him as Clutch, who's like one of the top officers. Um, he's actually agreed to help me out on launch day, so I just want to say thanks in advance. So he's actually going to create some of the soldiers that you submit in his character pool and then export them to me. Um, that way I can get as many people added as quickly as possible and have them show up in the Let's Play right away. So that's really cool of him to, to volunteer some of his time to do that, so I just wanted to say thank you. Please note, too, that there's a limited number of spots for this first series, but of course I'm going to add pe as many people as possible, um, and if the character works as intended, if you're not featured in this first season, then you'll be featured in an upcoming one. And trust me on this, people. I plan to play XCOM and modded versions of XCOM 2, uh, series on this channel for the foreseeable future, so you will get in eventually, so please do enlist. Uh, the second thing I wanted to, to let you know is that um, there, I've been getting some questions about these soldier dossier videos that I've been making. Like, what's the deal with that, Mal? Um, and, and that's good, good questions, good questions. So let me let me try to explain in a little bit more detail. I'm using the XCOM Long War Season 2 campaign that I have on my channel as canon, as history for the XCOM 2 series. And yes, I know technically um, that Long War's based on XCOM, EW, that, you know, got retconned and it doesn't happen. But nonetheless, I'm attached to these characters, and many of them, which I refer to as sort of iconic characters, they're going to be featured in some capacity in XCOM 2. The Soldier Dossiers are an example of how, as a community, we've been bridging that story. So, so you know, select people have been reaching out to me, or I've been reaching out to them, and then collaboratively, we've been creating these stories, which I'm then reflecting in these dossier videos, which I hope everyone's enjoying. It seems like people are enjoying them, and I certainly am um, enjoying creating those with members of the community. Now, I, I will continue to put these out and, and refine them as we go along, but I, I, I won't be able to create one for every uh, single soldier, and I, I'm sorry, I just won't be able to. Um, it's rather time intensive to put those quite short videos together, but it, it takes a, a while to get them to get them put together, so I hope that you understand. Um, number three, um, the tactical look and feel, and I talked about this a little bit in my planning video, um, the soldiers will have a tactical feel about them. This means there'll be no outlandish colors on their gear or their uniforms. Now, having said that, uh, since this is, you know, a new XCOM that's a bit ragtag, you know, uh, strange hairstyles, glasses, hoods, hats, cigars, and whatever you come up with to sort of personalize your soldiers, I'm all for that. You you know, you want somebody with a mohawk, a purple mohawk, hey, that's fine. I just want the, the gear itself to kind of have a, a tactical military feel to it, so I don't really feel like someone should be running around on the, on, on the combat field in, like, bright purple armor. I mean, I think it's cool, and it looks great in the game, don't get me wrong. I just, just at least for this first campaign, I really kind of want to keep it tactical, so I hope people understand and they're okay with that. The last thing that I'll mention uh, before you hopefully go off and sign up and enlist, um, if you want more information about how I'm going to handle this first uh, XCOM 2 campaign, there's also going to be a link 
uh, in the description below with the others that'll link you to the planning video where I kind of go over everything that I'm going to do um, or hope to do in the first campaign. I hope you're all as excited about XCOM 2 as I am. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Commanders, I am Mal, and I will see you later.